Hello, Gemini, and welcome to my channel, Tarot by Gabrielle. This is going to be your love and relationships reading for February 2023, looking at you and your connection to the person that you are currently connected to the strongest right now. So I encourage you to look at this as you and the person that you are meant to learn the most from right now. Um, so this could be, you know, romantic. It could be a friendship. It could be a family member. Whatever the case is, this is the person that you are currently needing to focus on the lesson with the most right now. Um, I also encourage you to take a look at this being you and your connection to yourself. You know, the way that, that this reading, the intention behind it is that there are three sides to every story. We've got your version of the truth, their perception and version of the truth, and then that higher level unbiased truth here in the middle. Um, so try to look at that as, as how this connection is reflecting back at you because we are, you know, the people around us are a reflection of ourselves. Um, so look at how it's reflecting back at you what it is that you're needing to heal. But Okay. Gemini, your side of the connection, our emotions are running high with breath. Now, when I pulled this breath card, the card that was on the bottom of the deck was emotions. So right now is about breathing through your emotions. I feel like you are feeling very triggered when it comes to this connection. I feel like this connection has really um, sparked a lot of, of not so awesome emotions in you. Now, on their side of things, they have don't let pride get in your way with transcendence. This person has a tendency to um, to allow their pride to lead the way. And with this transcendence card, this connection is pushing them to transcend that pride and open their heart and mind a little bit more because the overall energy for this reading is growth and transmute. So this is about, you know, transmuting, um, you know, fear to faith or transmuting pride to love or whatever the case might be, but it's it's about growth. This connection has a lot of growth tendency in it. And right now is about is about growth for sure. Now in the, in between this connection, you have meditate and contemplate with emptiness. Emptiness does not mean this connection is empty. Um, what this is talking about is there is really needing, like this connection really needs to have some space within it. Like I feel like there's, there's a lot going on and there's like almost like, like a need to, to open the connection up maybe for more, you know, more conversations or more quality time or to like, I, it just, it feels like, like it, there's, there's too much going on and there's a need to create some space within this connection to allow things to flow a little bit. Um, but we will dive into that more. Let's start here, Gemini, by looking at your side of this connection. This is Gemini's side of this connection to the person they are dealing with, clarifying emotions are running high with breath. Gemini side of the connection to the person they are dealing with. This is Gemini side of this connection. Gemini side of the connection to the person they are dealing with. Gemini, you are dealing with so much defensiveness right now. You have the Queen of Swords in reverse with the Five of Cups. Um, this connection has recently brought you a lot of sadness, actually. Like, and and honestly, I feel like this could also be regret. Um, there could be some regret here about the way things were handled in the past or the way a situation was handled or whatever the case is. But ultimately, there's it, it's leading to some defensiveness. Like it's real, it's been really hard for you to open your heart fully to this connection for some reason. Not that you don't want to, but I feel like there's some fear there, right? Like it could be fear of loss, right? That's keeping you from that. But the, this defensiveness is keeping things because it's almost like you're taking a little bit of your emotions out on this connection. Now, I feel like they're doing the exact same thing to you because remember, this is a reflection. So don't think this is going to be all like a blaming you for this connection kind of reading because that's not at all the case. It's just, it's, it, I feel like right now things are really intense. And with the meditate and contemplate, it almost like there's a need, like I said, to create space, like to, to open this connection up to a little bit more, um, like to have a little bit more breathing room because I feel like this is just like a, things have just been really heavy in this connection as of recently. This is Gemini's connection to the person they are dealing with. Gemini's connection to the person that they are dealing with. Ooh, my goodness, Gemini, you are feeling a little betrayed. You know, this Ten of Swords, you're, there's, a, there's a lot of hurt that you're dealing with in this connection right now. And this Ten of Cups in reverse... You know, that Ten of Cups in reverse can sometimes mean, take this all with a grain of salt, please, unrealistic expectations about what you're looking for in this connection. Now, that doesn't mean that what you're looking for isn't possible, but you could be looking at this person to provide you with a level of fulfillment that you're actually needing to provide yourself. Um, but either way, this, this, this is intense. 
this connection is is poking at inner child energy too. And I feel like that's why the hurt feels so intense right now because it's poking at like like abandonment trauma. Almost. So that might be why things feel really intense. And, it, and you might be, take this with a grain of salt, please. You might be looking to this person to heal your abandonment trauma when in reality you're needing to heal your abandonment trauma to, to have a healthier relationship in this connection. Yeah, because there's the judgment card. It's like this need to see like the truth of why things feel the way they do. But yeah, this, this connection's poking at some abandonment trauma. It is. It certainly is. And it's, it is intense. It is poking at your heart. This is Gemini side of the connection to the person they are dealing with. Gemini side of the connection to the person they are dealing with. There's, oh my goodness, Gemini. Now the six of wands in reverse with the sun in reverse. This connection has taken a lot out of you. A lot out of you. And I feel like, oh my. <laughs> Yeah, I get why you guys are emotionally right now because this is a this is an intense one. It's like very You feel kind of stabbed in the back a little bit. I feel like this is someone that I don't feel like they meant to hurt you the way they did. I really don't. I really don't feel that way at all. I think that they just, they're poking. It's like they were put in your life to help you heal some sort of deep-rooted trauma here. And so that's what's, that's why things are feeling so triggering right now is this connection. Not that there's not a, like, yes, you should obviously deal with the issue within this connection, but it's also poking at something deeper. It's poking at, like, like abandonment keeps coming up, like some abandonment trauma. And so that's why things feel so freaking intense. This is Gemini's side of the connection to the person they are dealing with. And that's where this defensiveness is coming from. Breathe through the tension right now because I, I really, I don't, you know, I think the biggest mistake you could make right now is acting on this emotion. Don't act on the way you feel right now. Um, you have the moon card in reverse, the lovers in reverse, the ace of pentacles and the hermit in reverse because they're is an opportunity in this connection for things to get better. But that doesn't mean that uh, there's potential, right? There's potential for things to get better. But right now you are working through a lot of fear and it's fear surrounding what you feel your value is, like like being able to see your worth. Because again, you know, abandonment trauma doesn't just have to be, but like betray. It feels like abandonment though. It just feels like that, like, I, I can't put that near the way that I feel energy in the words, but. It just, it feels like abandonment trauma. But, but understand that this connection is pushing you to work through a lot of fear of abandonment too. Because if you have abandonment trauma that you haven't healed from, of course that's being poked at so that you can heal it, release it, no longer fear it, and therefore attract it, right? Um, so you're working through a lot of fear right now. And I feel like that fear, don't believe your fear. Don't believe that you're, like, I don't know how to, how to put this into words. It's almost like, I almost feel like you're facing your fear, your worst fear in a way, like facing your, I don't know. This is, it's very deep. This is a very deep reading for you, Gemini. But I ultimately feel like this person, they don't mean to, I don't think they mean to trigger you like this. Like I did the Taurus reading and in it, I could literally see that this person was like trying to get at Taurus. And I don't feel that misreading. It doesn't feel like this person's trying to trigger you. They just literally do because they were put here to help you through some serious abandonment trauma. To help you work through. But you have to work through that on your own, right? But let's see. Let's get more gem energy for Gemini side of the connection. The Justice with the Queen of Wands. It's almost like, like, justice to me is like the balance, right? Balancing the scales. I feel like you're really, you're really kind of focused on, okay, mm, you're really focused on, they, they should get what they deserve for making me feel like this right now. 
and you know, karma is a thing. Don't, don't worry about karma. Karma always takes care of themselves of itself. Right. But you might not see that karma getting balanced, but know that if, if someone has treated you the way that they have, that they're going to, they're going to approach, they're going to have to deal with karma that, that deals with that same thing. But it almost feels like this has to do, don't like, don't live your life waiting for this person to get what they deserve for, for treating you this way, for making you feel this way, because they're going to like karma is a karma will always balance the scales. Focus on what you deserve more, like what you deserve better of. You know, you deserve better than what you've experienced in this life. That's absolutely true. But make sure your actions align with that, right? Because there's a level of like, especially if you're dealing with abandonment trauma, it comes down to like, I might have been treated poorly, but I want this person back. And this doesn't have to be a connection and separation. This is just kind of, but I want, it's like you're, I'm going to pull one more card because I'm getting a little bit, I'm actually not, I'm going to clarify this justice card here because I want to go deeper into this specific message. Clarifying the justice card in Gemini's energy toward the person they're dealing with. The Knight of Wands in reverse with the Fool. Okay. So yeah, that's the case. It, it's like, there's a level of not being totally vulnerable with yourself about the role you've played in this. Now, this is not victim blaming. This is not saying it's your fault. Now, here's the thing. If you got into this connection with this abandonment trauma and you were dealing with the fear of being left, you might have brought that fear of being left in the connection and, and that belief of and that fear then became your reality. So that's why it's it's bringing up so much for you right now is because it's trying to help you heal that fear so that that fear doesn't impact you anymore. Because with the full card here, there's a new beginning that, and then the strength, there's a new be, and then the empress, right? There's a new beginning, but that new beginning isn't going to come until you find this confidence and this sense of self that says, I deserve more. Therefore, I'm only going to accept more because I feel like a level of you is still accepting this connection it's like the, we accept the love we we think we deserve right like you're accepting the way that this connection has treated you or like you feel like you deserve it or like something you feel like this is all you deserve you don't you deserve good things you deserve to feel good about yourself and and the connections that you're in be it romantic or otherwise gemini side of the connection toward the person they are dealing with yeah this is transmuting right it's transmuting your fear into healing Transmuting pain into healing too. The Ace of Cups in reverse. Oh, that Five of Wands just popped up right there. I didn't even see that come out. That was really weird. I didn't see that. I'll have to rewatch that because that was weird. Um, so the Five of Wands, which obviously I'm going to keep right here because it popped right there with this Ace of Cups in reverse. So the conflict that, that happens in this connection is due to you have a tendency to suppress your emotions, Gemini. So instead of handling your emotions in the moment, you have a tendency to push those away. And this connection pokes at those and brings them up. So that's why you feel this connection. It's like all at once kind of thing. Like, I feel like you're like, good, you're good, you're good. And then something happens. And it's like, whew, like this wave of emotion just washes over you. And I feel like you have a tendency to like, maybe it's like, self-sabotage because of that or whatever the case is but understand that the conflict in this connection is due to the lack of working through your emotions around your fear of this abandonment trauma this aban it's, it's abandonment this is like fear of abandonment is probably what i'm going to title this reading okay let's take a look at this person's connection or energy towards you this is the person that Gemini is dealing with, energy toward Gemini. The person that Gemini is dealing with, energy toward Gemini. This is the person that Gemini is dealing with, energy toward Gemini. Please. Oh, this person has an inflated ego. <laughs> Big time. They have the strength with the Hierophant. It's like, not that they, like, this confidence, this strength card, this doesn't feel like, like, this doesn't feel like, like, confidence rooted in anything healthy. It feels like, oh, 
I don't like that energy, Gemini. I don't like it. I'm not saying this isn't a good person. It's just they're they have an inflated ego big time. I don't like that's just straight up what this message is saying to me. And that makes it so hard for them to be vulnerable with you because they are, I mean, their pride is like taken over. Cause and I feel like, you know, pride's a defense mechanism. Ego ego is put there to protect ourselves. But it's like especially when they look at this connection, like I feel like I hope this isn't too triggering for someone out there. They look at you as a little bit inferior to them. Like, like they're superior. Let me see. Let me get more on this. I don't like that, but maybe there's a reason. Let's see. The person the Gemini is dealing with energy toward Gemini. Yeah, the emperor in reverse. This person is very controlling. Uh, yeah, okay. With the two of cups in reverse, they are so not connected to themselves emotionally. Like, I feel like this person, and like, for lack of a, like, this person is so delusional. And that's just what's coming through. This person is super delusional. Like, I feel like they're just like, entitled. And there, this connection isn't going to find a healthy middle ground until this person is able to transcend that, to get out of their ego and get into their heart a little bit. Now, the way that you could look at that is, you know, maybe, oh, I don't even know. I don't even know, honestly. Like, reflect how you're overly controlling in your own life. Reflect how maybe your ego has a little bit too much say in your own life, you know, things like that. But this person has some serious ego problems. This person that Gemini is dealing with synergy toward Gemini, please. Seven of Swords in reverse about the Six of Cups. They're very like... I feel like they've opened up to you about their past. Oh, this is straight up. I don't want to say that yet until I get more clarity. I feel like they've opened up to you about their past and that makes you feel really bad for them, empathetic toward them. Um, but I also feel like they have a tendency to use what they've been through as a way to control you. Don't let another person's burdens become yours to bear. It is so important that you do that because I, I'm not going to lie to you, Gemini. I don't like this person's energy. I mean, I said that about like the Taurus ring. I don't, I don't think they're trying to do this. I don't. I think that they are on full out, full out protect themselves mode. I don't think they try to be controlling. I don't think they, they mean to have this inflated sense of self. I just feel like they literally like, don't know how to be emotionally vulnerable and you're struggling with that too but they don't know how to be emotionally vulnerable to the extent that they put on the this front of like like they that this mask almost that like guilt like i hear guilt trip like there's a lot of guilt tripping going on here almost i don't like this person's energy Gemini, I don't like it. Let's see, though. This is Gemini's, the person that Gemini is dealing with energy toward Gemini. The person that Gemini is dealing with energy toward Gemini. Let's say something good here, right? The person that Gemini is dealing with energy toward Gemini, please. person has unrealistic expectations about this connection they're looking for you to like okay they are looking this is this is a very specific message this person is looking for you to mm, i don't like this i don't like having to say this either to add to their ego as opposed to actually build a deep emotional connection with you now i don't even think they fully know that they're doing that but they're looking at this connection from like a materialistic standpoint and like how can how can Gemini make me look and feel better about myself instead of how can we build a deep emotional connection because with the ten of cups in reverse there's like this 
unrealistic expectation. I mean, we've seen that, right? They have this unrealistic expectation toward this connection. And then I feel like when you don't stroke their ego, they get really mad. But like, you don't, you don't have to stroke anybody's ego. That's not your freaking job. Gemini's, per the energy that Gemini's dealing with is energy toward Gemini. This connection is, is going to be really, really important. Or this, the, this, in order for this connection to come together in a healthy way, it's going to be really important for this person to transcend this ego that they're dealing with. This is a cycle for them. And with the magician in reverse, it's because they, you know, they fear that they are not going to be loved and accepted for who they truly are. So that's the reason they feel the way they do in this connection. That's the reason they're acting the way they do in this connection. They feel like they would never be loved and accepted for who they truly are. So they put on this front of this ego, this like like this like a like mask of their ego, and it's a very fragile mask. It's very very fragile. And so I feel like when it's not when they don't feel like you're like again like stroking their ego. And I don't mean this like in a. I feel like the words I'm saying sound very cruel. Like I'm not trying to be cruel about it. I'm just being very you know blunt about the way that this person's energy is coming through. It just feels like when you don't, when they don't like get their, like when the validation essentially from you that they're looking for, they turn on you and say that it's your fault. And you're sitting here like, I'm literally just trying to, like, I'm just trying to, like you're poking on my, cause I feel like maybe they, maybe they say like, if you don't do like they, they, they poke at your abandonment trauma in a way that's like, if you don't do this, then I'm going to have to leave you. Or like, I don't know, like this is kind of the energy I feel like. I feel like this person's energy is cruel. I'm not trying to be cruel about it, but I just feel like this person's energy is cruel. I really do. And it also, there's that Knight of Wands in reverse. It all stems from their inability to be vulnerable. So like, you have to remember that, sure, this person might have, you know, this energy for a reason and they might like struggle with, you know, opening up and, and their ego and things like that. But also understand that like, if you have empathy for them and you, you know, cause obviously they've opened up about their past to you. And, and I feel like you have a lot of empathy in saying like, I get why you are the way you are because of what you've been through, but don't carry that burden around. Don't think that their trauma is your responsibility because it's not, it's their responsibility to heal and grow and transmute this trauma into something good. Right now they're holding on to their trauma and getting angry at you when you're not able to heal them. But I also feel to a certain extent, I said this earlier, you are looking for them to heal your abandonment trauma it so it's it goes back it goes both ways it really does overall energy here or sorry the person that gemini is dealing with energy toward gemini please the person that gemini is dealing with energy toward gemini right over right so you know, the nine oh what is that Justice in reverse. The nine of pentacles. We have the justice up right here. The five of wands. Um, this person, honestly, like, kind of thrives in chaos. Like, I feel like they don't know how to have a healthy relationship or a healthy connection because everything has to be a fight with them. Because that's the only, I feel like that's the only way they know how to communicate. And, and it's probably because that that's what they've experienced and that's how they've grown up and, you know, whatever the case might be. But Again, that's not your burden to bear, Gemini. You don't have to hold on to their burden for them. I get why you're being defensive towards this. But yeah, I mean, try to look at how this person is, you know, reflecting back to you. And again, the way that I like to explain that is it doesn't have to be so extreme, right? Just because this person is struggling with their ego to the extent that they are, that doesn't mean you are struggling with your ego to the same extent, but your ego might still be playing a role in things on your side. So look at how this person could be um, reflecting back you because there, there always is when there's conflict, it's, it's inner conflict coming to light. Um, we're going to hop on over to the extended and look at the truth of this connection. This just higher level energy here. Um, thank you guys so much for the support of my channel. It means the absolute world to me. I hope that this reading helped and resonated with some of you guys out there. Um, and I hope to see you back in future readings. Bye Gemini.